Confluence covers most of the aspects needed to plan and organize your work effectively. But many companies use Excel or Google Sheets as the primary tool for creating tables. We'd love to compare MS Excel, Google Sheets, and Confluence tables on several parameters. First up is sharing information. With Excel, you'll have to send a file to your colleague, unless you have a subscription or use SharePoint. With Google Sheets, just share the link to the document. In Confluence, you can organize a variety of spaces, so your colleagues will be able to find necessary information in a specific place without your help. As for collaboration, in Excel it's impossible to work on the same spreadsheet simultaneously with your colleagues. With Google Sheets, it's much easier. If you have access to the document, you can work on it together with other people. In Confluence, people can work on the same workspace at the same time and none of the edits will be lost. If you want to access the history of previous edits, in Excel, it won't be possible at all. Google Sheets offers you to see the edits made to the document, but if your internet connection fails at some point, the changes might not be saved. In Confluence, you can easily track any change made to the content, or easily compare two chosen versions. Creating tables both in Excel and Google Sheets is limited to a spreadsheet. In Confluence, you have a variety of options. Let's have a look at some of them. First, you can create a table manually. While editing a page, insert a table of the necessary size. You can add more rows and columns as you go, select a heading row or heading column, and generally organize the table however you prefer. If you want to upload the data from already existing tables to Confluence, you can use the table from CSV or table from JSON macros from the table filter and charts for Confluence app. Just attach the file to a page and use the macro to derive a table from it. Alternatively, you can use a URL as a source of the table. If you track your projects in JIRA, you can use this data to create a table in Confluence too. For that, your Confluence and JIRA must be linked. This macro allows you to display one or several JIRA issues on your page. You can include recently viewed issues, or add a list of chosen issues through a URL or JQL. If you still lack the spreadsheet capabilities that MS Excel and Google Sheets offer, the Table Spreadsheet Macro from Table Filter and Charts for Confluence can be a solution. It allows you to embed an Excel-like spreadsheet into your Confluence page. The capabilities of the macro are also similar to other spreadsheets. You can customize your table, use predefined formulas or conditional formatting. You might as well filter aggregate or analyze data, if needed. And if you have Excel files with data, you can upload them right into the spreadsheet. For data analysis and visualization, you can use and build formulas and charts in Excel and Google Sheets. In Confluence, those are replaced with a variety of macros. With the table filter and charts for Confluence app, you can filter and aggregate data, customize the look of your table, and create dynamic charts and graphs and dashboards. Each of these tools has many benefits as well as downsides. What matters most, is what works best for you.